Hello, and welcome to Surveillance Bridge. In this video, we will show you how to set up an extension of your Milestone X Protect storage to the cloud with the help of Surveillance Bridge. We have a demo environment where Milestone X Protect is currently running with camera data being recorded. In the Playback tab, we can see that we have existing camera recordings as noted by the red color on the timeline. If we check the management client, we can see that there is currently one recording server configured with two storage locations and the default location is currently almost full. We will set up an extension for it to make sure we have enough room to save new camera recordings. To do that, we will go to the respective extension sector under the surveillance bridge configuration in the management client. The extension can be set up independently or together with disaster recovery. To learn more about installing Surveillance Bridge or setting it up for disaster recovery, please check out our disaster recovery video. In the extension section, you will see the same servers and the same storage locations as those configured in the Recording Servers section. You have the option to enable a standard or an archive extension for any storage location that may need to be extended. For our demo, we will enable a standard extension for the first storage volume. We will click the Enable button, which gives us the option to select a cloud provider or an on-premises storage option of our choice. If you've already set up Surveillance Bridge for disaster recovery, you will not have to enter the cloud provider details again. The same provider and bucket will be set automatically and used for the extension. Extension with Surveillance Bridge does not duplicate your camera data if disaster recovery is also enabled. If DR is not already in use, make sure to select a different bucket for each storage location you would like to extend to the cloud. We will select this particular bucket to be used. Once the extension is enabled, it can also be configured. With the Configure button, you can select either by age, if you want to keep data locally for a specific amount of time, or by size, to keep it until your local drive reaches a specified capacity threshold. When either condition is met, the content is first replicated to the cloud, then removed locally and replaced by zero-byte stub files. Data is safely kept in the cloud until the retention time set on your storage volume is met. The default is by 95% of the size. Let us go by one hour range for the demo. Now that the configuration is complete, we can switch to active to start the process. Within a minute, Surveillance Bridge will display the percentage of local data that has been replicated to the cloud. If your cloud provider supports an archive tier, Surveillance Bridge allows you to leverage it with the Archive Extension option. Note that in the case of archive video, it will first need to be manually recalled before it can be viewed on the timeline. For most archive cloud tier providers, it will not be immediately available. If we go back to the Smart Client and its Playback tab, we see that the timeline now has an orange overlay for the data replicated to the cloud, but no longer taking up space on the local storage. This visual indication confirms that the camera data is stored securely on the cloud, but still available for immediate recall. If you want to view a part of this recording, Simply move to the desired place on the timeline and click the play button. The desired camera data will be immediately retrieved from the cloud provider and played back from XProtect as if it were local. Alternatively, you can also search for a specific date and time. The left panel gives us an additional option for bulk recovery. You just need to select the start and end date and time. Select a camera, and then click the Restore button. It is linked to the Time Selection mode in Milestone XProtect. Now that everything is all set, we can return to the Management Client and reflect the extension there. We can edit the storage volume and make it bigger. 
let's say 500 gigabytes in size. This is not local storage anymore. The local physical storage is smaller. This is now storage backed by the cloud. This extension gives us the ability to store much more camera data on the same recording volume. Another thing to consider is enabling archive tier usage. If we go back to the extension menu and enable archive, we can set our policy. For our example, we will move recordings not accessed for more than one day, and we will select standard rehydration priority. This option will reduce rehydration costs, but requires more time to get the data back from the archive tier if needed. You can come back and change this configuration later as well. If we switch to the smart client, we can see a blue overlay on some parts of the timeline. These are recordings currently in the archive tier. We can see the recording offline screen if we move the timeline there. If we want to get some of the offline data, we can make a timeline selection, check the desired camera on the left, and click the Restore button. A warning message will show up because the costs that will be applied for the rehydration procedure might be significant. Depending on the priority selection earlier, the camera data will be rehydrated from Azure Archive tier to the standard tier within one hour for high priority or 15 hours for standard priority. Note that rehydration times for archive tiers vary from one cloud vendor to the other, with some even offering immediate access to archived material. This concludes our video showing you how to set up Surveillance Bridge to extend your on-premises storage to the cloud. Thank you for viewing.